Kia ora. My name is Adrian. I'm humbled and honored to be here and especially to be accepted and invited by the EHF team and uh, such a warm welcome by the Maori people and also an amazing connection with my fellow fellows, which has been such an incredible experience. I have to say the past few days has been one of the most profound weeks of my life. Just a quick background. Uh, I've grown up as a global nomad. I was born to Belgian parents in South Africa and grew up in eight countries on four continents. So diversity and in change has, were my constants growing up. And it led me to wonder where do my roots lay? But I realized the difference in culture and building bridges is something very profound and something that's been a constant theme throughout my upbringing. I've been coming to New Zealand since 2012, and every subsequent visit I've had, uh, I've fallen more and more in love with the country. And what's impressed me the most is that I found a very strong grounding energy pulling me here, and also a sort of subtle whisper saying, those roots that I was looking for, I think indeed are here. <laughs> what's always inspired me about New Zealand is how such a small and remote country can have such a big impact on the world. It reminds me of a quote by the Dalai Lama you may know. If you think you're too small to make an impact, try spending a night with a mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> I, wor I work in venture capital. Yosef yesterday mentioned about planting seeds, the right seeds, to grow the right trees, to grow the right forest. My endeavor is to provide the right nourishment to those seeds. About three years ago, I co-founded Maluku Ventures with some Indonesian partners. Uh, we provide strategic capital to visionary entrepreneurs solving meaningful problems around the world and especially in emerging Asia, where I'm currently based. We're strategic in the sense that my founding partners are owners of some of the largest business enterprises throughout the region. But also that gives us a strong network to help our portfolio companies scale up. But also they are impact is close to their hearts. Uh, they volunteer a lot of their time to the Endeavor Network and other networks around the world. So impact is something very important to them. We believe in being founder first. We believe in building bridges and we believe in leading with conscience. We invest in pioneers like Sir Edmund who are doing things that haven't been done before. Just a quick snapshot of our ecosystem. We sit in what is the world's fastest growing di digital economy. We're currently 330 million internet users growing at 13% per annum. That's already overtaken North America in terms of the number of internet users. It's very much a mobile first economy and it has the highest engagement levels, mobile internet engagement levels of any region in the world with the average consumer user use, spending four hours a day on the internet versus in the US, the average is currently two hours a day. As I mentioned, we invest in pioneers and you may notice one company very familiar to Wellington is a company called 8i, which we invested in. We, they are building a world-leading technology which we believe will have a um, big impact on the future of how humans c communicate. Another company I'd like to mention is Element, which is in the field of AI and biometrics. They have built a mobile-only software platform to solve the issues of digital identity in the emerging world, including countries like Bang Bangladesh and Cambodia, with the, where they've worked with the Bill Gates uh, Global Good Fund, to provide patient ID to babies whose births are not registered. And what I love about what they're doing is they have a very unique technology, but they're using it for good and to make a change around the world and they're pioneers. We're hoping to find more of these types of companies here in New Zealand. So what I 
my mission in joining the EHF and what I'd like to help with in this ecosystem is building a bridge between New Zealand and the Southeast Asian ecosystem. I think there's many, many ways where we can help. New Zealand, New Zealand is a great hub of innovation and I truly believe it's going to get better and better, but currently has a very small end market. We have the very large end markets in Asia, but we don't yet quite have the innovation to solve the problems. So building, filling that structural gap between the two, providing strategic capital here, helping companies from here scale into our markets, and also inversely, I truly believe we could help the, the founders in Southeast Asia consider New Zealand as a base for building talent, for operations, for incorporation. So I'll just finish that um, with this progressive and forward-thinking outlook, st strategically sitting between the time zones of Asia and the Americas, I truly believe that New Zealand has a unique opportunity to become the global base camp of innovation. And I very much look forward to working with all of you to help build that camp. Thank you very much.